everybody, it's Liz, and I'm just here to share with you some Valentine's Day projects that I created for my mom. Uh, every year I try to make her a little something special, and of course this year is no exception. So let me show you what I created. Um, I made a card, of course, and I also altered uh, a memory tray. This is a heart-shaped memory tray that I picked up at Michael's um, last year. Uh, some time ago, I don't remember exactly, but it was on clearance, it was about 3 or $4, so it was just absolutely perfect for my project. But, anyways, let me get started. I'm going to start with the card, and then I'll move um, on to the memory tray. So, this is the card that I created, and I am very, very happy with the way that it turned out. I think the colors are just so pretty, and the little vintage image is just gorgeous, and I know my mom is just going to love this. The paper collection that I've used is a really pretty collection. Um, it's a Hobby Lobby co uh, collection. I think it's, uh, let me see. Here it is. It's Vintage Amour, and look how beautiful this is. It is such a pretty collection, you guys. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have seen it. I had never seen it, actually. I went to Hobby Lobby, and I was kind of looking around, and I ran, you know, into it, and I thought it was really pretty and just perfect for, you know, the Valentine's projects I had in mind. So, lots of vintage images, beautiful colors. Um, it's a really, really pretty collection, you guys. Vintage and more. Um, I don't know if everybody knows about it, and I'm the last one to find out, but it's a really pretty collection. And I picked up the 6x6 six six paper pad. So that's what I used for my card, and I started off with just, you know, an ivory card base. It's, it is a 6x6 six six card. I went ahead and layered some cardstock and pattern paper over that. I like to, that's how I like to create my layers, you know, because I like uh, to add a little bit of a color. So there's some teal or aqua, whatever you may want to call it, cardstock, and on top of that, the pattern paper. I did another layer over here, another one down here, and please excuse my dog. Hold on one second. Pepper. Come on, go outside. Oh, Pepper. Sorry about that. He gets excited when he hears the birds. Anyways, okay, let's move on. So there's my card, and the image that you see here is from... Um, an old paper collection by Kay & Company. It had a few die cuts, and I think that was one of them. Um, and I had some die cut pieces here. Let's see, it's by Kay & Company. It's got a lot of like vintage um, little boys and little girls and angels and stuff like that. So I used it from that paper collection. It's a um, couple years old. And what I did is all the papers are distressed with vintage photo to age them some more because I definitely wanted a vintage look. Um, everything is layered on there. This piece here is layered with foam tape as well as this strip that runs across the card. I wanted a lot of dimension. And then, let's see, I used a really pretty little heart doily in the background. I just tucked it behind layers. And then I've got some really beautiful flowers. These are all flowers from my stash, you guys. These little daisies were white, of course, and I believe they're I Am Roses. And I wanted to paint them to pick up this beautiful pink color. It's almost like a pink, mauve, uh, really nice, beautiful color. And I used uh, Victorian Velvet Distress Ink, you know, from Tim Holtz. And all I did is I dabbed the Distress Ink onto my craft mat and used my Mini Mister. Created, you know, like a little, almost like a little stain. And I took a little paintbrush and I painted the color onto the daisies. And it's such a beautiful color, you guys. Look how beautiful it turns out. Really pretty. And so I painted those flowers and I dabbed a little bit of white, warm white acrylic paint on top of that to soften it up a bit. I've got some blue little flowers in the background and these were inked with uh, Lindy Stamping. I can't remember the color, you guys, because I did these a while ago and I just had extras, but they were perfect because it went really well with the colors from the uh, paper. So I've got a few of those tucked in in the cluster and again I used some warm white acrylic paint on top of that. Then I've got, this one's for my stash, and it's already ivory, so it was perfect just the way it is. Here I have got a little heart shape, and this was given to me by Saw. These are um, in Saw Crafter's shop, and let me show you real quick what they look like. She gave them to me for my birthday, and I've got a little bag of them, and I use some of them on the memory tray as well. But let me just show you. Really pretty, you guys. And it's just like a insert here, heart shape, and then you've got like the little frame. So these are really pretty. And I left them just the way they were because I like that natural color. But I did ink them up just a little bit more with some vintage photo. And so I have that heart shape tucked behind. I've got some little flourish and, and leaves kind of coming in and out of the cluster. And those are by Spellbinders. The, uh, the die is called Foliage 2. 
really pretty. I've got this nice trim that goes all the way across, and that's just for my stash. I had a little bit left. This was a trim from Joann's, and it goes all the way across the card. And just adds a really cute little, you know, detail. And over here I created this seam binding little puffy bow. And I just used seam binding, like I said, and I used the Victorian Velvet, again by uh, the Distressed Ink by Tim Holtz. And I used the same thing that I did with the flowers. I just, um, you know, dabbed it onto the craft mat, added uh, some water, and created like a little bit of stain. And then I, I just kind of crinkled up the seam binding to pick up all the color. And it's really pretty the way it looks. Such a beautiful pink color. In the center, I just used this vintage button that I had in my stash. And it's a little heart shape, and I like the gold. It's really pretty. And up here is another one of those hearts that Saw Crafters gave me. Thank you so much, Saw. They are just perfect for my project. And again, I inked the edges with Vintage Photo, and I added these cute little alpha squares, and it just spells out Mom. So, it's really cute. And I'm really, really loving the card. I think it came out so darling. I know Mom's going to love it. The inside, I wanted to decorate it a bit, and so I added, again, some of that teal cardstock, a piece of patterned paper on top of that, and again, it's all aged with Vintage Photo. So is this ivory piece of cardstock. I um, just basically inked the edges with Vintage Photo, and then, why won't this focus? Sorry about that. And then this die cut piece is from that die cut collection I showed you, and I just went ahead and aged that with Vintage Photo as well, and I adhered it down to the bottom. So there's plenty of room for me to write my message to my mom. So that's my card, you guys. Came out really nice. I'm very happy with it. And now let's move on to the tray I created. I am so happy with the way this turned out as well. It was a little intimidating at first because I wasn't sure where I was going with it, but once I started, everything just kind of, you know, fell... Um, it just came together, so it was perfect. The tray itself was black, and I used, um, you know, the Krylon spray paint and ivory. I painted the entire thing, front, back, everything, okay? And then what I did is I adhered the papers, the Vintage Amore collection, to each of the little compartments. And I just love the colors, you guys. Such a beautiful collection. And for the edges of my heart, let me kind of pick this up so I could show you. I used this really pretty ivory um, braided trim. And see, it goes all around the heart, and it's just the perfect width. It covered, you know, the sides, you know, beautifully. And it just adds another little detail to, um, you know, the heart. And it just goes all the way around the heart. And I'm going to show you the back, because this is going to go on the wall. So I've got these, you know, it already had those little, um, I don't know what you would call them, little hooks or whatever. So this is perfect to just, you know, um, put it on the wall, so it's going to look really nice in her room. And let's see, let's start off with the top compartment, you guys. I layered all the papers, like I said. Um, everything is inked with Vintage Photo. I've got a cute little doily for my stash, inked with Vintage Photo as well. And then here I adhered one of the pretty little vintage images, and this is a really pretty little Cupid playing a little instrument of some sort. I've got some flower clusters up here. This is just some flowers for my stash. This one, again, I used the uh, Victorian Velvet uh, ink to color that up. And I used the warm white acrylic paint on tops of all the flowers. I've got some little leaves poking in and out of the cluster. And again, those are by Spellbinders. It's called Foliage 2. And I just used scraps of cardstock to create all the little leaves and flourishes. And um, I also have here these cute little, um, these were actually little metal charms or stickers. They had like little adhesive backs. But they're metal, and they were silver, but I used my alcohol ink in gold to color them up a bit. The gold, I think, just went better with the papers and the colors that I used. So I adhered them on there with some little foam pieces. Over here, I've got some more flowers for my stash, again, inked with the warm white, just on top of the petals. I've got some little leaves tucked away, and all the leaves are bent a little and inked with Vintage Photo. And here, this spells out love, and it's a beautiful little filigree piece, not filigree, but uh, laser cut wood piece from Michaels. And I painted it two coats of warm white, and then I used the Stace on ink in, um, oh my gosh, I can't think of the name, the color, but it's just a brown, and I used a script stamp to stamp all over it. Hopefully you guys are able to see that. And I just want to create, a, you know, uh, some subtle detail before I painted it with the Victorian Velvet ink pad. I just uh, layered the, um, I just, you know, dabbed it with the ink pad really all over. It dried, and then I did it two or three more times just to get this really pretty pink color. So it's really pretty, and I have that on there. It just says love. 
And let's see, moving on to this next compartment. Again, I just layered the paper. Everything's ink with Vintage Photo, you guys. This beautiful image is one of those die cut pieces. And I have that uh, behind this, you know, really pretty wooden frame by Kaiser Craft. I wanted it to be, you know, like a, just like a picture on the wall. Kind of, this paper reminded me of wallpaper. So I thought that'd be pretty to have it, you know, almost like a painting on the wall. The wooden piece was kept in the natural color, but I did ink all of it just quite a bit, even on the edges with vintage photo to make it, you know, more aged and give it a little more detail. Again, the flowers are all for my stash. Underneath the flowers are little die cut pieces and some fussy cut flowers that I cut out of the Vintage Amore collection. Everything is inked with Vintage Photo. And this one again was uh, inked with the uh, Victorian Velvet. This one was already blue. It's from Michael's and this one's from my stash. And I've just got little leaves poking in and out of the cluster. Same thing down here. You can see some of the die cut pieces and you know some of the little fussy cutting flowers that I did over there. And I've got a pearl strand that just goes across, and this is just for my stash, a small little ivory pearl strand. I've got a pretty little lace piece that goes across the, in the compartment at the bottom, and that's really nice. And over here I've got this vintage button that I picked up a while ago. I don't remember where I got it, but I thought the colors and the flowers on there went really well with the frame, the picture, so I added that little button. In the center of the button is just some little piece of jute. And then again, there's another little flower from my stash. And let's move on down here. Again, I layered all the papers and inked them with Vintage Photo. And I framed this compartment with some of that pearl strand. And it just goes all around the edges to frame it a bit. It's just, it looks really pretty. And here I've got a key. This is an antique gold key from, um, I want to say it's from the $2 bin at Michael's. I'm not 100% sure though, but it really looks like it. And of course I kept it that antique gold because it's just beautiful. I created a little um, ribbon, almost like the key is, you know, uh, it's got a little ribbon tied to it. And this is just like a little scrap of ribbon that I found and it was white. I used the Victorian velvet to color it up, this really pretty pink color. And see how it matches the paper so well? It's so perfect. I love that Distress Ink. And I just tied a knot on it and I have it kind of just coming, um, you know, across. Here I've got some more flowers and again, they're all, you know, painted on there just a little bit with warm white. I've got some little leaves. I've got a beautiful die cut piece here with the two doves and I inked all the edges again with Vintage Photo. Here are two more of those heart frames from Saw Crafter's Shop. Look how pretty they look, right? And I just added a little flower on top with a little leaf. And let's see, moving down here to the bottom are more flowers for my stash. And again, they're all, you know, inked with the warm white and got some little leaves poking in and out. And let's move on to the last one here. This last one's really cute. Um, I've got a little flower cluster on top, and I wanted to create a little banner. So I used my Spellbinders banner dies, and these are really cute. Um, it's got two different dies. One, it's got like a little scalloped edge, and then you add the little pennants on top of that to give it dimension, and I did that with foam tape. And all of the um, the back the background of the pendant is just some cardstock ivory cardstock in, inked with vintage photo, and then I use the pattern papers to create the little triangles. I embossed them, inked them with vintage photo, and then I adhered them to each of the little pendants. And I use the same little alpha squares to spell out the word sweet, and it goes all the way across. It's a really cute little banner. The, um, I attached the little banner pieces to some doodle twine that I inked with Vintage Photo to age it a bit. And then I have the banner going all the way across and I use these really tiny clothespins. Look how cute these are. And these are already gold. They're painted like a, an, an antique gold color so they were perfect. And I think Hubby got these for me a while back. I've got like a little bag of a hundred of them. So I used one here and then one over here. Really cute. And then of course I've got the little blue flowers right on top of that. And the flowers are all, you know, painted lightly on top with um, the warm white acrylic paint. And these little flowers, like I said, are from the $2 bin at Michael's. I think I got them a while ago. Um, I think there's some there now, I'm sure, in different colors. But 
And this really pretty cupid is also from Sawcrafter Shop, you guys. These are some more little pieces that she gave me for my birthday. And I believe it's MDF. They're not, you know, wood. But what I did, I painted him two coats of warm white. And then I used the rock, um, uh, yeah, the rock candy crackle. I used that to cover him up. And once that dried, I dabbed him with Victorian velvet. I dabbed him with some vintage photo. And then I lightly kind of dabbed some paint on him as well. So he's got a lot of layers. And he's beautifully crackled and kind of has a nice sheen going on. I love him. He's really cute. Behind him is just a heart-shaped doily for my stash that I inked with vintage photo. Here we've got some more flowers and some little leaves poking in and out. And down here at the bottom, you guys, I've got two game pieces. These are the Tim Holtz game pieces, and of course, we all know they're red. But I didn't like how bright they were. They would have been, you know, nice for Valentine's Day, but the color, uh, you know, the papers just not go well with it. So what I did is I painted them with warm white, and then I dabbed them with the Victorian velvet several times to get this really, really pretty pink color. And I've got a 2 and a 14, of course, for Valentine's Day. I've got another flower here for my stash and a little leaf coming out of the flower. And I think that is it. I really hope I covered everything. Let me see. I'm pretty sure that I did. Look how pretty. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. My mom's going to love this. She tried, you know, sneaking a peek earlier, but I had to shoo her away. <laughs> I just love surprising her, you know, and so I wanted it. Uh, I didn't want her to see it. But I'm very happy with the way that it turned out. I think it's so pretty. And like I said, it's going to go really well on her wall. It's going to look gorgeous. And I love the card as well. So those are my projects for Valentine's Day. I've got a few more to do. I've got to make something for hubby now. But I'm very glad that I'm done with this. This was a lot, a lot of work. Very time consuming. Lots of details. But anyways, guys, I really hope you like my projects. Um, thank you so much for watching. And, you know, leave me a comment or a question if you have one. And, um, yeah, just, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, anyway, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I'll see you all real soon. Bye-bye.